J50. J50. J50 to arrest who? To arrest all the people that, that was in the house. One, two, two, uh, Gininda. Hey, are you saying Prikatia Gininda or you're talking about other Gininda? I'm talking about the, the one and only Gininda. The one who is feared the most? Yes. He's the one that's going to get arrested. He's the one who has already assigned J50 oh. on my police dock at 375. There's why Gininda no. when Gininda then, what he did, after he found out, Gininda and Baloy, after they found out that there was J50 signed for their arrest, then they implicated Makubu in a case that he was not part of. Makubu was exonerated. He was, all charges were with Makubu was arrested on that case. And Gininda went to one of the witnesses and, and, and asked him to implicate Makubu in that case. That witness went to court and that witness say Makubu, he knows Makubu for a very long time. Makubu was never, never part of that case. Makubu was exonerated. All charges were withdrawn. I, I read the part that. Um, LPC case number 7769-2016. Uh, uh, this case has nothing to do with TEFO. TEFO was, uh, this, this was the case of Lindube Korile. You remember this case was withdrawn. It was a case of criminal injury that I remember. That same case that um, Gininda reopened on uh, or Thursday. Do you know that Gininda reopened this case on Thursday against Tefo? Wait, which Thursday then? The that, that, Thursday. The, 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 the first Thursday. Thursday. This case was reopened by Gininda against. This case was withdrawn. But Gininda went and reopened the same case on Thursday. That will be the 15th of February 2024. Yes. yes. will be open against you or somehow you will vanish. That's what I'm seeing. Like I'm yes. seeing, uh, you know, Definitely. you know, when people say we are, South Africa is a mafia state, based on what you've just said, I think I believe it. We already, uh, last year already, I had an interview whereby we already said that South Africa has turned into a mafia police state where the police will, will formulate charges uh, against you. That's your Gininda. Gininda will formulate uh, charges against you and your boy as the prosecutor will come in and prosecute you and they will find their own magistrate or judge who will convict you. That's how it works. Hey. I see similarities like because you know that they wanted uh, to, 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 to charge Advocate Gomel Zulu for charges that were already withdrawn. They wanted to reinstate those charges. They called his daughter without his knowledge to say that she must come and testify on, uh, on, on these charges that, that the NPA wanted to reinstate and the daughter refused. So they could not proceed with these charges because these charges were withdrawn a long time ago already. <laughs> Hi, this is Pat. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Bongani? I'm good. Okay. For the record, my name is Bongani Masugu. Um, this call between me and you is recorded. This call will be uploaded as a conversation that will be heard or listened to by YouTube or by people on YouTube. So, yeah, I'm talking to... Hey, Bongani, you're talking to Patricia Mashali, and I don't have a problem if you record a call. Thank you very much, Ms. Patricia. Our subject today is the man called Tefo. You have some scary knowledge there. <laughs> it's so scary, Sus Patricia. Yeah, it's so scary. Yeah. But I just, I, I don't want to disturb you. Just go for it. Okay. Yeah, uh, Bongani. Um, you know that Tefo is currently in, in prison since August last year. And um, the reason 
why he has been kept in prison is because of the Senzo Miwa case, uh, because he knows how the case has been messed up by Baloy, uh, Gininda, Sibia, and uh, Fele is also part of this. Uh, that's why when therefore mentioned all those names in, in court, he was immediately arrested. They knew that he was on to them and they had to get, get him out of the picture as soon as possible. So hence all these useless charges of trespassing and um, common assault and whatever, because he's never been charged with a serious uh, charge. Uh, the charges against him is always uh, uh, trespassing, trespassing at the subs building, trespassing at his, at his own offices, common assault where there's no, no, um, there, there's no complainant. I know the common assault charges have been withdrawn because there's no complainant. Hmm. The trespassing charges, city properties informed his wife after she called them uh, to ask them about these charges. Uh, they informed her that they, and they, they don't know anything about the charges because they are not a complainant. Huh. And that's where she was informed that uh, Estelle Feldman from the LPC and uh, uh, Brady Sarita Bekers from SAPS are the ones who actually press the charges against TEFO. So um, Estelle Feldman from the LPC, TEFO exposed them because uh, the letter that I sent you, I, I, I don't know whether you went through that letter. In that letter, they exposed the LPC because they charged him uh, on an unrelated charge. Actually, he was never charged for that matter. Uh, uh. Never went to the disciplinary hearing. He was just taken to, to, to the high court without internal procedures being exhausted. At the... the, 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 the uh, LPC, and uh, when TEFO challenged them on that, because there was a meeting, if you can see in that letter, there was a meeting between TEFO, his lawyer, uh, 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 Mr. Nwate, and uh, the LPC, whereby uh, everyone found out on that day that TEFO was never served with, uh, by this uh, uh, Korile. She was supposed to serve there for with a notice of a uh, departmental hearing. And uh, on in that meeting, uh, it was found that there was never served with a, with a notice. So the, 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 the matter being taken to court, uh, they, they, the LPC's explanation was they, they could not charge there for departmentally because the charges were, were was very serious, the allegations, the allegations, unfounded allegations, was too serious against people. So now we ask ourselves if uh, the, the, the LPC removed their mandate to charge people departmentally to the high court, how, how, how many lawyers was uh, subjected to this practice before? Or is there for the first lawyer who are being subjected to this kind of practice? Because before, uh, you mean, I mean, there's, there's, there's legal procedures to be followed internally. You must charge someone departmentally, and if that departmental trial find him guilty, then the high court have the mandate to strike him from the raw. So that internal process was not. Uh, uh, done by the LPC. All they did, they just referred the matter to the High Court for therefore to be struck from the raw. In other words, therefore was struck from the raw without ever being found guilty of any offense by the LPC. Mm. So, okay, so there was a letter of withdrawal, right? They withdrew there was the a charges. letter of withdrawal, yes. Then what happened? Can therefore still practice then? Because they withdrew the matter. Yes. Yeah. Therefore, can still uh, practice because, as I said, therefore was never found guilty by the LPC for any offense. Therefore, was just struck from the raw with, with the unrelated case number. That case num number that I gave you, this is this um, LPC case number 7769-2016. Uh, uh, this case has nothing to do with TEFO. 
therefore was uh, that this was the case of Lindwe Korile. You remember this case was withdrawn. It was a case of criminal injury that I remember. That same case that um, Gininda reopened on uh, or Thursday. Do you know that Gininda reopened this case on Thursday against Ethel? Wait, which Thursday then? The that, present Thursday. That, that, that past Thursday, Thursday. This case was reopened by Gininda against. This case was withdrawn. But Gininda went and reopened the same case on Thursday. That will be the 15th of. February 2024. Yes. yes. The case that was withdrew. The, the was, case that was withdrawn against TFO, uh, 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 it was a case between TFO and this Corile uh, uh, NL. So this case was what is a 2016 case, meaning that this 2016 case was withdrawn against TFO. TFO was um, never found guilty. And uh, there was agreement, if you go through that later, there was agreement between the LPC, uh, uh, therefore's attorney, Mr. Nwati, that um, the money that, that, that they say that Nwati was supposed to pay back, every, or every, the, the, in fact, the LPC would run everything regarding this case. Mm -hmm. So the cases, the 22 cases that they said that therefore was charged with, the LPC never found Tefo guilty on those 22 charges because he never went to a departmental trial at the LPC. The High Court struck Tefo from the role without any jurisdiction uh, because the LPC didn't uh, uh, found uh, Tefo guilty of any charges. Someone will ask, what's the approval? Oh, this approbation, what, what do they stand for, LPC? The Legal Practice Council. Thank you. So, you know, I see a similarity here. Um, the reason I'm saying I see a similarity, let me give a practical example. Do you, I, I, I think you know a man, uh, you know this one, Advocate Ngomezu. Yes, I know, I know him. I'm speaking to him on, on a daily basis. Don't you see similarities there? I see similarities like, because you know that they wanted uh, to, 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 to charge Advocate Gomez Zulu for charges that were already withdrawn. They wanted to reinstate those charges. They called his daughter without his knowledge to say that she must come and testify on, uh, on, on these charges that, that the NPA wanted to reinstate and the daughter refused. So they could not proceed with these charges because these charges were withdrawn a long time ago already. <laughs> so, hey, Patrick, hey, it appears like even us here who are doing these discussions, they will find a case against us. Because it, it, you don't have to have a case. You don't have to break the law for them to find a case for you. All it needs to have, or what will happen is that if you are a problem, either a case will be open against you or somehow you will vanish. That's what I'm seeing. Like, I'm yeah. seeing... Uh, you know, you know when people say we are South Africa is a mafia state. Based on what you've just said, I think I believe it. We already uh, last year already, I had an interview whereby we already said that South Africa has turned into a mafia police state, where the police. Will, will formulate charges uh, against you, that's your Gininda. Gininda will formulate uh, charges against you and your boy as the prosecutor will come in and prosecute you and they will find their own magistrate or judge who will convict you. That's how it works. Hey, it's kind of like yeah, the destiny is set here. Yeah. Like it's predestination. They already know. This is who's going to come up with the cases Definitely, they've got their witnesses then. Yeah, they already. Or they, they, they will also have the witnesses. Look what happened in the in the Radovan Kretscher case. Look what happened in the, what is happening currently in the in the Senzo Miwa case, where Gininda, in both cases, Gininda is the lead investigator. In both cases, Gininda declared the case a cold, cold case, where I, uh, the case is 
already in process or the case is still under investigation. The mandate of the that so-called cold case unit, which I don't know under which uh, 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 um, a unit is for, the cold case unit doesn't have any uh, uh, place in the SAPS establishment. General Vitole just appointed the I don't even know how was he appointed, whether there was a post advertising, whether Gininda was contested by other applicants for this position because Gininda was a captain, he was appointed as a colonel in the Radovan Kresha case, and he was appointed as a brigadier in the in the Senzo Miwa case. So Gininda is the cold case unit. If you can uh, uh, define cold case, cold case means a case that was closed and detected for more than 10 years. Then oh. the cold case unit will reopen the, their docket and start investigating their docket again. The Wait. cold case unit doesn't have the mandate to take over a docket that are still uh, 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 under investigation or a docket that is ready for, for, for prosecution. So Gininda just hijacked these dockets and make it part of his mandate so that he can cover up. That's what Gininda did. Mm, 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 mm. So can you please take me back? You're saying the mandate of this cold case unit is to investigate cases that have been closed for how many years? For for at least ten years, because for a case to to be to to be defined as a cold case, there. Case must have been closed for at least ten years, and I know in the in 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 South Africa we have a lot of cold cases of people who who disappeared, of children who disappeared. I remember about those young girls who disappeared back in the eighties or the nineties. Those are cold cases. Those are the mm. cases that, that those are the cases that the cold case unit should be concentrating on, not on active cases, not on act, not hijacking active cases. So you can see that what Gininda do is defeating the ends of justice. This is not Gininda's mandate to hijack active cases. A cold case is a dead case. That case must be resurrected again. And also based on, on, on new evidence, you will resurrect that case again and you will start investigating that case again. Sister yeah. Patrick. Uh, please, just simplify this up for me, because that. I am getting okay. lost now. Uh, if you are saying a cold case must have been closed for at least a period of 10 years, how long was the case of Senzo Miwa closed? The case was never closed. The Senzo Miwa case was never closed. If you can remember, Dr. 375, it was investigated by Makubu. Makubu's case was ready for trial. Makubu already had um, the, 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 the J-50s to arrest all the people in the house. Makubu had the J-50 for the arrest of Baloy. Makubu had the J-50 hey. for the arrest of, of Gininda. Hey, Makubu had the J-50 for the arrest of Sibia for defeating the ends of justice. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You are scaring me. You are scaring me. Please slow <laughs> down. Please slow down. J-88 to arrest who? Please J-50. say slowly. J-50. J-50, J-50. J-50. to arrest who? To arrest all the people that was in the house. One, two, two, uh, Gininda. Hey, are you saying Prikatia Gininda or you're talking about other Gininda? I'm talking about the, the one and only Gininda. The one who is feared the most? Yes. Is the one that's going to get arrested? He's the one who has already assigned. J50 oh. on Makubu's Docker 375. That's why Gininda, no. when Gininda then, what he did, after he found out, Gininda and Baloy, after they found out that there was J50 signed for their arrest, then they implicated Makubu in a case that he was not part of. Makubu was exonerated. He was, all charges were with him. Makubu was arrested on that case. And Gininda went to one of the witnesses and, and, and asked him to implicate Makubu in that case. That witness went to court and that witness said, he knows Makubu for a very long time. Makubu was 
never, never part of that case. Makubu was exonerated, all charges were withdrawn against I, I have read about that case. I think it was also captured or written. The, general, look, the newspaper uh, that wrote about it that I remember vividly, it is the Daily Maverick. It also emphasized the fact that Makubu's life is in a great He's danger. in danger because then what you mean that then did. Ginina went as far as wanted to remove Makubu from 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 the case. He wanted Makubu to drop uh, 375. And Merida, Professor Merida, has wrote a letter to to the General Masumula and complained about this. This is when Masumula called in Ginina and 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 and, and General Bia and said they must throw this thing out with with with, with Makubu uh, because Makubu is not going to leave there. Docket Makubu is the investigator on their docket, and that's when Gininda left Makubu alone. I remember that, I, I can attest to that as well. Uh, Sifiso Meiwa uh, spoke about, he uh, made an announcement about that Guti, um, there was a call, if I'm not mistaken, that was made by Brigadier Gininda to one of the one of the hawks, and that person who is in charge of the hawks and houting uh, told Makubu that Gininda said you must move you must be you must stop with this three seven five if I'm not mistaken. I'm just yeah. paraphrase what Swiss Omeiwa had said but during the editing if I can find that video I will insert that video here. Uh, good morning. My name is Swiss Omeiwa, brother of the late Senzo Meiwa. Hey, I'm very disappointed here by what the SAPS is doing. Mm, last week Last week on the 20, 24th of uh, September, I heard some rumors that Warrant Officer Makubo was receiving threats from Brigadier Kininda. Brigadier Kininda is the one who, who is investigating my brother's case, a murder case, case 636 of uh, 10, 2014. And Warrant Officer Makubo is the one who is investigating the second docket, case 375, which is uh, defeating the ends of justice. I then called Makubo and asked him about this. He confirmed that he received a call. <clears throat> he received a call from General Kadwa. General Kadwa is from, he is the head of Hawks in Houting. Kadwa said he was, he was informed by Brigadier Kininda to tell Makuba that he must withdraw from case 375. Makuba is the one who is a complainant on the docket. And this that uh, surprised me. And then I decided to call the Minister of Police, General Kele, Minister, Minister Kele, and then I called General Libya, I called the uh, National Commissioner. They didn't, or National Com Commissioner responded and, and they said that he was going to call Kininda and Makub. But the other two, they didn't respond. And then I decided to send them messages. Uh, and then General Pogani, who is the Secretary of the Minister, she responded and said they are going to deal with this matter. But when I called Makuba yesterday, today is the 5th, I called him on the 4th. He said no one has called him about this matter. And I'm very disappointed. And Makuba's life is in danger. Because this docket has got evidence that Kininda stole a docket, stole a, a, he stole a statement from this docket. And Makuba is the one who's got evidence which can prove that Zungu is lying in court. And another thing, this is. Uh, it's true. It's true. I also know about it because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to Mary Daz on a daily basis, and Mary Daz wrote a letter to Masimula, and Masimula, in fact, he did indeed call a meeting between Libya, Makubu, and Makubu, and uh, Libya, and, and Gininda, and it, and it, uh, uh, that's when Makubu was then instructed to leave, uh, uh, Gininda was instructed to leave Makubu alone. Let's go back now. 
so you say the uh, should I say there is a warrant of arrest because that's the language yes. that we it's are aware warrant. of. It's a signed warrant of arrest. It's a signed now, warrant let's of start, arrest. Now let's yes. start. Let's start here now, because uh, we, we look we got carried away before we can finish. There is a signed warrant of arrest to arrest. Everybody that was in that house on the yes. on the twenty sixth of October two thousand and twenty four. Yes. Yes. There is a signed warrant of arrest to arrest the lead investigator in the current case uh, of Senzo Meiwa Kela that that is under look um, or in front of Judge Ratamo Khateng right now, right? Yes. With the, the, that lead investigator, if I'm if I'm getting correct. Bongani Bongani Gininda, yes. There is a signed warrant of arrest to arrest. The prosecutor in the in the very same case, which is Advocate Baloy. George Baloy, Advocate George Baloy, yes. What else? Who else am I leaving aside? There's a signed warrant of arrest for 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 Mayor General uh, Shadrach Sibia, who also went to the crime scene that night while he was not even uh, an employee of SAPS at the time. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Hey, the question is, you know the names that you are dropping here. The question is, <laughs> are they not gonna knock on my door and say, Bongani, we are here to arrest you." Then you call me Bongani. When they knock at your door, I will, I will, I will make it go viral. Anyone who comes after you, you call me. We must expose those people. We can't keep silent about what is happening in our country anymore because it can happen to anyone. <laughs> So wait, then let's go back to this one. Uh, the court case un the court case the court case unit that are to deal with cases which at least they must be ten years old uh, mm -hmm. have it been closed. The case of Senzo Miwa did not reach that stage, right? The case of Senzo Miwa, even if it reached the ten year term, but the docket was still active. I mean, when you say a, 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 the cold case unit can it, it only have the mandate to investigate doctors that were already closed, okay, undetected. The case of Mayor was still open. open. An active docket. The cold case unit does not have a mandate to investigate open and active. Maybe the cold case unit doesn't even know their own mandate because they were just <laughs> appointed for the sake of covering up those high profile cases. They don't even know their own mandate. What is the mandate? Wait, okay. So okay, so you are defining uh the cold case thing, right? Now let's go mm -hmm. back then. How 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 is it that a unit that is involved with cold case how did they found themselves in a position where they have to go and charge therefore because if I'm hearing you very well, that case was done and dusted uh, in 2016. So I'm just I'm trying to count here from 2016 to 2004. Um, uh, how many years? 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Not even 10 years. Um, so how did they get the authority to go and open the cases like the, the, to reinstate the charges against who who, who advocate death because they they, they, they they have the power uh, this, this corrupt people is a syndicate i i just i just told you who is the syndicate you get your saps your gmina then you get your your your, your baloy who will prosecute that case that was already because you can't charge someone for for the same case twice, they double jeopardy. Okay. You can charge someone for the same case twice. They already they will not get uh, uh, away with that. They, they 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 can't. It can't happen. But in South Africa, wherever you have your mafias, they 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 manage to do it because now they want to go and charge therefore with a trespassing case that was already withdrawn last year in March. And the, the 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 old lady who paid the ten thousand rand bail for therefore because he didn't have money at the time when he was arrested for trespassing at the subs building, she got her ten thousand rand bail money back. She got her money back, meaning the case was withdrawn. Now subs is now uh, the same trespassing case 
what, well, I don't know who reopened that case, but, but now they want to charge Tefo again for their trespassing case. So, it, it, you know, you know, yo, this thing, as I'm talking to you, it kind of feels like, it kind of feels like somebody is waiting intentionally for AKA's case to be closed. And then yes. it will be successful. Because, honestly speaking, I don't get it. AKA, Sanza Mewa case, um, the, it was that was actually what was supposed to happen to this new case. Remember, we were in the lockdown in 2020. Yes. And 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 and, and uh, uh, we didn't know what was happening. What was supposed to happen in this new case? Remember, uh, four of those five suspects was already sentenced. They were already in jail. Okay. Or let me say three of them because Sibia, at the time Sibia was not in jail when he was arrested. Yeah. And then he doesn't know the inside of a, of, a, of, a, of a police station. He doesn't know the inside of a court. He doesn't know the inside of a prison because he was never arrested in his life before. So and then he was, was a casualty. Huh. Wait. So got... Okay, continue, continue. I want to ask you something. Okay. So, so what was supposed to happen here? It was a, it was, it was actually supposed to be a hit and run. They already had all the plans in place. They, they had the Valois, they had the, they, 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 they uh, um, Yenindas, they had the, 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 the magistrates. We don't know. What was supposed to happen? These guys get arrested. They go to court very, very quickly and they get convicted. Without any noise, the, 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 the South Africa is happy. The world is happy. The the, the, the killers of Sandro Miwa have been convicted. They never expected that someone like Defo will come and say, "No, no, 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 no. You have the you have the wrong guy." They never anticipated. It was not part of the plan. Understand? Okay. 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 <laughs> now I wanna so go Devo back. came a storm in the field because Defo was the first one who came forward and say. I was I was there that day. It was in in Pretoria. It was me. It was Singodile. It was there for. It was uh, Senzo Miwa. It was um, John Clark. It was Mary Mar- Marjorie Jobson. When that's three seven five doc. It was shortly after these guys was arrested. When Devo exposed this, it was December twenty twenty one. When Devo exposed this three seven five doc, we were in Pretoria. Mm. So the same day, warrants of arrest were issued against me and therefore the very same day, I drove back to Bloemfontein. When I arrived in Bloemfontein, no one, no one was prepared to execute a warrant of arrest, but therefore was arrested for criminal injury. Huh. Hey, okay. So wait, yeah. It, 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 this thing feels like uh, the way you are the, the way you are talking. It kind of feels like uh, I'm in a dream. Um, it kind of feels like no man. It cannot happen in real life. But the way you are saying it, it's like it is happening in real life. Yeah. I want to go. I want to take you back a little bit, right? You spoke about the J50 in a, a layman term a warrant of arrest. You spoke about the people mm-hmm. that were in that house that Makubu mm-hmm. was sitting with a signed warrant of arrest for the people that were in that house. You spoke about um, signed warranty for signed warrant of arrest for the, the person the the the, the, the prosecutor. The yeah. lawyer is was was aware. The lawyer agreed that everyone in three seven five should be arrested. Nzuka, Advocate Nzuka was the one who signed this warrant of arrest. The lawyer agreed he was there with uh, Nzuka and Makubu when the warrant of arrest was signed. Baloy turned later and said no, Nzuka was 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 not uh, acting on, on 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 behalf of the NPA. That was just a a a a, a, a Nzuka was a junior in 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 in. Baloy was there. It was Nzuka. It was Baloy. It was Makuru when this warrant of arrest was signed. Okay, but I want to go somewhere, right? I was naming people that are that are, that would be arrested in this one. Uh, mm-hmm. People in that house, the lead investigator, the prosecutor, lead investigator is Prakatia Bongani Kininda, uh, prosecutor mm-hmm. is um, a George, Advocate George Baloy. Mm-hmm. There's a person you, you named there as Bia, 
And somebody will say, oh, Sbia is accused number one in the case of Senzo Mewa. Are we talking about the same Sbia? No, 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 no. That one is Mayor General Shadrach Sibia. Oh, okay. Mayor General Shadrach Sibia, at a time when he, he was sent by the, by the former MEC of roads and transport to the crime scene, he was dismissed from SAPS. He was not a member of SAPS anymore. And he went to the crime scene after he was sent by the former uh, uh, MEC of roads and transport to go because he owes him a favor to go and fix this because he owes him a favor. Okay. What do you know about the difficulties that we have when it comes to Advocate Depp? Because I'm told it's even difficult to, that, that I'm told that that man does not appear or they don't allow him to appear in a general court. They will always say he must appear in uh, Hoshimamburu, a, prison, yeah. a court within uh, Hoshimamburu, and they don't allow people to bring anything. Yes, what, what do you know? What I know is true. Um, they don't allow him uh, 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 regular phone calls like other inmates if there's a register for him. When he wants to make phone calls, he must he must write down all the numbers of the people that he's calling. That he's the only one who is using that register. He's been kept in isolation. His family is not allowed to take him any food. Uh, or, 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 or like the other inmates, because when you are not convicted yet, your family is allowed to take you food, your family is allowed to take you anything you need. You need. He's only allowed clothes. His wife is not allowed to take him, and friends is not allowed to take him food or anything, snacks or whatever. He's only allowed to be taken uh, 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 food. Whenever friends want to visit him, they don't allow anyone to visit him. They, they say him so he's visited, they say, they, they only allow people that they know. When I, Patricia Majali, say I want to go and visit Tevo tomorrow, they will never allow me to visit Tevo because they are censoring these, these visitors who must visit them. And, 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 and there's, there's what I know because Tevo called call me on, on a regular basis. There is this shift when they are working in their that week. Tevo will not be allowed to make any phone calls. Tevo will not be li- allowed any visits, nothing during that that shift. For I think they work for four or five days. Then for that four or five days, Tevo will not be allowed. Tevo have, have been has been uh, um, uh, assaulted by 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 by. I think is the the the, the prison workers on that shift. Uh, last year, his ribs was broken when they assaulted him. Uh, he's not allowed to see a doctor. And the head of the prison told therefore, he will stay in jail until he dropped the charges against Gininda and Baloy and Tele. Huh. 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 Sure. Okay, um, one person will ask a question, uh, says Patricia. Says, how do you know the processes of the SAPS? How come you know these things, how this is supposed to be done? Because sometimes you sound so accurate. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge. And that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as likely as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? We'll bring you more. And also, guys, want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed although i was not a police officer Monganim, yes i i acquainted myself with the south african police service act i'm also a, a law student i'm current on my final year with my llb so i also know the criminal procedure act 
So um, that's why I know so much about the police process. I've been working in, 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 in SAPS for 15 years. I, I know the regulations. I know the national instructions. I know the standing orders. I know I, I know everything because I love to read and I I, I love to, to 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 empower myself with knowledge. So every time when I came across something I don't understand, I would go do my own research and then to understand actually what how this thing is supposed to be done, how this does this law should be implemented, how this national instruction uh, uh, should be should be defined. Because currently now we have we have generals who doesn't even know the South African Police Service Act, who doesn't know the national instruction, who doesn't know the standing orders. Uh, they don't know absolutely nothing. We have police officers on the street who doesn't know the, the criminal procedure act. So uh, uh, that's why we have so, so many civil uh, uh, um, cases against the South African Police Service, and, and most of them is, is unlawful arrest. I had this situation uh, here in my township in Aydegal where people were just uh, arrested left, left, right, and center for, 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 for dangerous weapons. And uh, when you go and look at a case, I'm going to assess someone now to, to initiate a civil claim against the state. They found you along the road with a, with a, with a pocket knife in your pocket, and then they, they arrest you uh, uh, for dangerous weapon. So that is the kind of thing that the police officers don't understand. How does a pocket knife inside your pocket become a dangerous weapon? To whom? To whom is it a dangerous weapon? You understand my point? So this is the kind of police officers that we have today that I was arrested in court by a magistrate. Then I asked myself, the magistrate doesn't know a mandate. The magistrate doesn't know the, the, the three arms of, 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 of government. She doesn't know that she's not a police officer. How, how can a magistrate now overstep those three lines and arrest, put me under arrest in court? I was even asking if the magistrates, the prosecutors, do they even want to refresh a course? So even when I'm starting with my civil claims against the, 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 the state, I'm going to sue that magistrate because that magistrate didn't understand her mandate. You understand my point? I'm sitting with a, with a charge of, of, of serious domestic violence of which a magistrate overstepped her mandate and arrested me for, 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 for uh, domestic violence. I had to apply for bail on that charge of domestic violence. The courts are, in, the courts are a mess. How people are in trouble. If you don't have a good lawyer, and if your case are not in the public eye, Bongani, a lot of people are sitting convicted in prison because of what is happening in our police, what is happening in our courts, and uh, no one knows about them because their cases are not like the same when we cases in court in, in the public space. Their cases are not like my, my case in the public space, and. Um, uh, if you, there's, there's, there's why I want to pursue, I want to finish my, my degree so that I can go to those people. I want to go and represent those people who have been going through what me and Tefo are going through because I don't see any lawyers coming forward. I don't see any human rights organizations coming forward. We are the ones who must now come and represent our people because currently everyone is just turning a blind eye. No, uh, but one would say, looking at the case of the, of Tefo, right? One would say, ah, but it's because, you know, you uh, any lawyer, because I'm told in the in the, in the case of of Tefo that any lawyer that dare um, that will dare try to represent Tefo, they get threatened. The treatment is bad. So many yeah. people are looking at yeah. that to say, mm, you know what, you go against these people. Uh, you will be struck off the roll, and the next thing, you're no longer a lawyer. If you don't believe it, just look at what is happening to the defense in court. If you don't believe it, if it can happen on national TV, what is happening behind closed doors? Because everyone can see, and people will say, no, he must, he must, uh, he, he broke the law, he must face the consequences of the law. But my question is, actually, which law are we talking here about here? <laughs> which law are we talking about here? Because in South Africa, there are two laws. There are laws for people like me and Devo, and there are laws for, 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 the, for the rest. For the rest. 
Jensen. <laughs> That's one of the rest. It's, it's, it's actually a very, very nice law because they will be, they will be, here we sit with people who are facing very, 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 very serious uh, uh, charges, criminal charges. And and that, that that's law that is working for me and for Tevo is not working for those those people. So it's, when people say like they say Gomezulo must face the law, which law are we talking about? <laughs> okay, I'll tell you this, right? Um, there are people, international people, that uh, are looking at the situation that is happening. I had calls from England, for instance. Uh, people are saying. There are law firms that really want to get involved in this thing because they can see that there's something wrong here. Uh, there are people in all, all over, Scottish, I think I've got a, quite a number of people overseas that want to get involved in this thing. They want to help wherever they can. So most of them, they've, they've started low and some of them, they've got their roots in Africa. Some, they got to know about the things that are happening to their for, uh through their friends who are studying law internationally. Some, they got to know about the things that are happening in the sense of Mewa case through friends who are living in abroad, right? So mm -hmm. there are a lot of things that are happening. So I'm saying, I was saying to say that the questions that you are asking, I got a question, I got asked by somebody internationally. And that person was like, Bongane, I don't understand. How, why is therefore kept under these conditions? You know, this person is a lawyer internationally. This person says, I don't, I don't get it. Like, I don't get it. How is it? But it was like, you know what? I'm coming. I'm coming. I will find the time. I will find my, look, some time and then I'll have to come back to Africa. If need be, this will have to get an, inter, look, an international recognition or what? Attention. Because people yeah. are like, no, man. I, I, you know, this person even said to me, you know, I'm living in a country where um, somebody was saying, the other person was saying to me, Wangana, I'm living in a country where uh, mostly dominated by white people. OT, as a black person, I'm expecting these people to mistreat me. But it's like, you know, I've seen these people being fair to me. And when I look back, and I, you was referring to Tefo, now, when I look back and I look at how Tefo is being treated, I, I find myself quite asking myself, why? This is the person saying, oh, it's like, I, I find myself questioning things and I feel like, why under a black-led government people are treated like animals? You are expecting this behavior in a foreign country where it is mostly populated by white people. But he's like, look look at me here. I'm being treated fair here in a foreign land where I'm black, white dominated area. So why are people treated the way they're being treated like therefore? So I'm saying to say, a lot of people are questioning this and they really want to help because they were like, no man, there's something wrong about this thing here. Something is off here. It's true, Bongani, and, 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 and you know what? It will be great if we can get lawyers from, 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 from other countries, from abroad, from, to, to, to come and assist our black brother because our black brothers in our country has failed us. Uh, 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 they, they, they will rather defend what this black government is doing to black people. You will never find a white person going through what therefore is currently going through. Never, never. It will never happen in South Africa, regardless of what crime that white person has committed. And here, it's not about the, the, the race or color. It's about a black government that we thought will, will uplift black people because of what black people went through during the apartheid years. But currently now, our own black people are, 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 they, they, they are, they are stepping on, on other black people, a black professional that, like Tefo. Instead of other black professionals coming forward and saying, no, no, it can't happen with someone who put himself through law school with his own money. The government didn't assist him. Someone who tried to work himself. Up. Therefore, never, ever, ever. He, he, he didn't do it for the money. Most of therefore's work he did on pro bono. 
Therefore, win a lot of, of arbitration cases in court. He have a lot of arbitration awards. But because SAPS doesn't like therefore, they, 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 they were exposed to SAPS. All therefore's clients have, they've never been reinstated. Uh, I, I know about Warrant Officer Dube. Warrant Officer, uh, Officer Dube got his uh, reinstatement, uh, uh, um, uh, arbitration award back in 2012. SAPS refused to reinstate him because his lawyer is, is, is there for. And you know what? The nice thing about this is, is white people who are in charge of, of SAPS, your Sarita, Brigadier Sarita Beatus is a white lady who decides that those people, your Khrunaval, there's another one called Khrunaval, who decides that those people will not be reinstated. But when black, white people are getting uh, um, arbitration awards, they are being reinstated and they're getting their salaries retrospectively. Therefore, it's a suffering because he is a very, very good lawyer. He won a lot of arbitration awards for his clients to go back to work. Mbatu, Mbatu was suspended in 1991. Therefore, it's fought for Mbatu. All these, all these members are sitting at home and suffering because therefore is their lawyer. And the, like Mbatu told you, a, a colored brigadier told him, uh, told him Mbatu that the reason why you will never be reinstated, let me tell you the truth, Mbatu. The reason why you will never be reinstated is because therefore is your lawyer. Ntia gave an instruction, let, let an engineer Ntia, which I still maintain that she's a Lesotho national who is using someone else's identity. Ntia gave instructions to say that no, no client of death for will be reinstated. It doesn't matter whether they receive arbitration work from the from the labor court. So now SAPS is in contempt of court. The labor court is not doing anything about this contempt of court because it's a lot of arbitration awards. But, uh, uh, um, uh, 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 do they got a warrant of arrest against the, 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 the minister and the national uh, commissioner? But the labor court... Just give them this warrant of arrest, this arbitration was without any action from their side. So what I'm saying here, Bongani, we have courts. We have we have everything that they're supposed to assist this vulnerable police officers of members, but they are failing us. They are failing us. They are still just assisting the white people. And our government is condoning it. Hey, don't sue me. Yay, Patricia said, before we go forward, um, Patricia, I feel like these people will come after me, uh, especially because I'm mentioning international lawyers. They will stop me. Remember, I, 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 the plan is that I need to have a trip that is going internationally. That's where I'm probably going to meet with some of the lawyers internationally. That's the mm. plan. So I'm just wondering if you are, if you are opening... This fight, hey, will they not stop me at all? Tumble? I try to stop <laughs> because that's what they did to 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 Lindia Mabena, who did that um, that um, documentary on me. Lindia Mabena uh, came to Bloemfontein. She she she, she flew to Bloemfontein to come uh, on and interview me. You won't believe what happened. The plane was already at the at the Bloemfontein. Airport when instructions came that the plane must turn around to Johannesburg. The plane, almost the flight before landing, the plane turned around back to Johannesburg uh, Airport. When they landed in Johannesburg Airport, they didn't tell them anything. They just say no, they must wait for another flight. When when they were in bed, eventually told that they must go on board the other flight, Lindwe's name was not on the passenger list. But because she was she was determined to find out what is happening, she went to the receptionist and asked her, why is my name not in, on the passenger list? And the receptionist has told her that instructions came from above that you must at all costs not be allowed to board the, this plane to go to Bloomingdale. Linda, because she's a journalist, then she make noise and say, but now I'm going to expose you. They had to put her name on the person who left by four. She only landed in Bloomingdale about around four o'clock. <laughs> they might stop you. That's what happened to Linda Mabella. Yep, you know what, you are scaring me, Pella, now. Because, uh, like, honestly speaking, the trip was set in a way that I should go to England. 
but hey, the way I'm, the, the, the things that I'm oh, hearing. To keep yourself safe, don't do things secretly. Make sure that everyone knows where you are at all times. Should anyone approach you, then the world can see that what is happening to you. Because keeping things secret, you will die in silence. You will die in silence and no one will know what happened to you. The only thing to keep yourself, the way to keep yourself is be as verbal as possible about your surroundings. If you see someone follow you, uh, uh, you must put cameras on your car, even on your body. Put body cameras so that you can record anything that happened to you. Hmm. Yeah, you are correct. And I went to a place where I saw secret cameras. You are correct. Yes. You are correct. Like that. Like they are afraid of, of being exposed. One thing about them, they are used to do things in, because a criminal, a criminal will do things in the dark. They are afraid of the light. They are, they are red, <laughs> red. The red will never come like this. They are afraid of the light. They do things in the dark. Once you expose them, they will not come near you. Hey. You have Dala when a, when a Patricia. These people wanted to kill me. Uh, uh, late last year, uh, I know one person who was busy trying to file, or file some cases against me. And uh, you know what happened? Last year, I was told my name was number one on the list of people that they wanted to kill, but they wanted to send hitmen on me. Uh, that's that's how they operate. I got an information to say, Bongan, the name is number one. Yes, these are of them. They are, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are, they, are, they, are, they, they, they don't know, even know how to shoot in person. You know, these hitmen of them, they chased me, man. Uh, and, and, and what I realized that night, I say, you know what? These people have been pulled from the street. They have to come. They only, oh, you will see with all the heats, they come to you. They come straight on close range. When you are when you are, are, are stationary, when you stand still, they, they 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 are not able to shoot in person. So what you must do, apparently me, no one will come close to me because I'm going to deal with him first. I I empowered myself, Bongani. I will deal with you from a distance. While I was while I was in hiding, I made sure that I I I know how to shoot. I know how to do sharp shooting. I know how to protect myself. You will I will deal with you from a distance, and I'm telling them they must tell the hitmen. Hmm. They, 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 we'll, they talk, must, we'll talk privately because uh, I think they need to bring back my my license. I also have my firearm license. They need to yeah. bring it back. Let's they say they hear the conversation yourself. and they go and do something on my firearm license. You, you, you have the right to protect yourself. So when hitmen came to you, hitmen doesn't care about your life. They, they, they've been paid. They, they, there's a price on your head. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to allow, allow anyone to come close to me. I'll deal with you from a distance. That's why I say empower yourself. Know your surrounding body cams. Make sure you have all the equipment to see them before they see you. That's what I do. I may I have all the equipment to 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 know about them before they can even execute a plan. Even if they plan, I my, my network is so tight and my network is within them. The person who's sitting next to Baby Kelly might be the person who's looking for me. He doesn't even know it. You will look at everyone sitting next to him, but you will not know which one is it. I get it, I get it. But yeah, um eh, yeah, this 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 country is deteriorating and moral degener degeneration is just happening at a rapid speed and you know, it's so sad that you kinda of feel like you kinda of, you kinda you kinda of think to, to yourself to say, Wait a minute, somebody paid probably ten thousand rand for my death. You just gonna kill me for ten thousand rand. That's just exactly. yarr, yarr. you know exactly. nothing nothing no, 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 annoys. Yeah, someone someone has been paid and that person he paid that that person and he moved and he paid that person for your life and he moved to the to the other person. Pay that person for your but what 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 back in the apartheid years it was also done. But what I like about those people back in the apartheid years, they rather sacrificed their lives for the country. We don't have people like that anymore. Our, 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 
sometimes I, I'm ashamed to call myself a South African huh. because we have become a nation who accept everything and we will we will fold our hands and say it's not my business. But tomorrow you you just walk down the street or in a mall and you get raped in the mall and you want to be it to become the next person's business. But you mm. say you said it's not your business. To understand that. Somehow mm. we, somehow we will say we are facing it's karma. Yes. Yes. People will say because we can afford security, we can afford high walls, we can afford no, it's not my business. But you will get, you will go to just the toilet in the mall and get raped in the toilet. And then you will come and cry and say, the police, yeah, the police, they, but he folded it. Who, who, why are you blaming the police now? Because you said it's not your business. Hmm. 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 So if I, if I hear you very well, you are saying every injustice, it does not matter, small, medium, or big, it should be everyone's problem. It should be everyone's problem. It doesn't matter how big or small it is. If we don't unite as a country and 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 and, and, and act against these public servants, because I don't call them a government, I call them employees. Sarah Ramaphosa is my employee. Becky Taylor is my employee. These ministers is my employee because they are public servants. They were put, they were elected by their, their voters because I didn't, I didn't elect them. They were elected by their voters to serve the public. But today, the public are serving them. Hmm. Aish, that last statement, eh? Aish. Yo, you were elected to serve the public, but today... The public is saving you. Yes. That's how we allowed it. Bongani, I don't blame them. I don't blame them. They took their chances and they saw that we are weak. We allowed it. Oh. Yeah, okay. No, I, I, I will chat with you sometime again concerning therefore. I will just there are a lot of information that are coming up here. Eh? It's so sad, eh? Like, it's so sad. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know, but this, no. we will have to have this conversation again. But it's so sad. There's a lot of information that is coming up again. Currently now, Tevo's one child cannot attend school because of finances. Tevo, Tevo was the breadwinner in his house. Uh, his wife doesn't have any source of income. I know that if they are nights when they go hungry because the man of the house is in jail because of a trespassing case. I don't know how these people love with themselves. I no, don't know how they look themselves in the mirror. I don't know whether they are islands, they don't have children, they don't have families. But all I know is Karma is a bitch. She, she doesn't forget any addresses. Huh. It might not be you who's paying for that sin that you are committing against therefore. But your children will come and pay for your sins. You know, uh, our departing words is, here is what I find it funny in the Mayua case. Everybody that goes hard on these people, including the people who are in that house, that person, a case will be opened and that person will, 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 will go to prison. Like, I'm seeing this consistency. It is as if, like, nobody... Like nobody should go hard on these people. It's I don't know if you have seen, have seen open, that part is, that 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 pattern. It's either a case that open or that person dies. Uh, Brigadier Ndlovu was poisoned by his own colleagues. He was poisoned at a bride. They invited him to a bride when they heard that he was going to be called as a witness. Because Brigadier Ndobu told David Tepper was at Brigadier Ndobu's house the week before he died. Brigadier Ndobu told Tepper that he's not going to compromise himself with life. He's going to tell it all. He then got invited to a bride, and that's when he died after that of poison. Brigadier Ndobu's wife was killed because I she see. asked for a post-mortem uh, 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 test. It was found that he was 
She got her results. It was found that he was poisoned. She was shot in front of her daughter after the day after she got the results. So it's either you get charged or you get killed when you when you when you try to get close to these people who were in the house. That's how special they are. That's how immortal they are. They they are. Now I'm calling them immortal because it seems that they are going to live forever. Other people must die around them. Other people must go to prison around them because they are the immortal. Trish, yeah. So, Mm -hmm. Trish, your departing words. My departing word, Mongani, is we are not going to fail therefore. I will not fail therefore. No matter what, if I have to go to prison again, so be it. If I have to die, so be it. But this time now, to get justice for Tefo. Tefo must be freed. Here's my departing word. You heard it. This is Patrice. Can you sleep in peace? I will sleep in peace, please, please, brother. <laughs> we will talk again. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay.